And the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of your heart be troubled. Do you believe in God? Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and 
deceive you unto myself. That where I am, that you may be also. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while. And the world seeth me no more. But ye see me. Because I live, you shall live also. Peace I leave with you. Not as the world giveth. Give all unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or swollen as it is written for thy sake we are killed all day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Jesus Christ, our Lord.
saved? How many of you know that we we'll understand it better by and by? You may not understand it right now, but you just hold on. By and by, you're going to understand. This is a homegoing of a good man. Amen. Oh, yeah. Come on, put your hands together. We can praise God even in times like these. And times you don't understand, we still can praise God. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. I'm so glad to be a part of this homegoing service on the day. To the Gordon family, thank you. I just want to thank you. We're not going to have a music selection by the Mount Pool Mass Choir. Amen? Come on, show some love on today. We come to celebrate on today. We come to be saying that God is alive on today. I didn't have 
Amen. This morning when I rose, amen, amen. We're now going to have our scripture reading by one of the sons of the church, Reverend Dr. William E. Johnson III, pastor of the Union Grove Baptist Church in South Chesterfield, and then we're going to have the prayer of comfort by uh, Reverend Charlotte Godfrey. Yes. Amen. Then we're going to have another musical by, the, by this wonderful choir. And then we're going to have uh, acknowledgments of all the preachers by one of the other sons of the church, uh, Dr. Field, Dr. Joe Field. Amen. Amen. The Old Testament reading will be found in the prophet Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, beginning at verse 28 and concluding at verse 31. Here you'll find these words, have you not known, have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. To those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, but they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. The New Testament reading will be taken from the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. I fought the good fight. I finished the race. I kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. The grass will wither and the flower will fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Our prayer is that this family and the faith community that have gathered here today will find comfort from the word of our God. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you this morning, oh God, just to say thank you one more time for being so good to us. We thank you, dear Father, for your mercy, for your grace, and your love. Most of all, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus, that died on an old rugged cross and gave us the right to salvation. We thank you, dear God, for being so good to us, for keeping us in your care. We thank you for your sweet Holy Spirit, oh God, for the comforter. Father, we thank you for the life of Brother Raymond Gordon. We thank you, dear God, for his sweet smile. Every time I saw him, he had a smile on his face. We thank you, dear God, for his wife, Shirley, and his sons, and the rest of his family. Father, we pray that you will give them the strength that they need to carry on. Oh, God, in the midnight hour, when the pillows are wet with tears, Father, encourage their hearts that the next day, that tomorrow will be a brighter day yes. because you, oh God, will be right there by their side. Yes. We thank you, Father, thank you. for your mercy. Yes. We thank you, dear God, for just being God all by yourself. Yes. We thank you, dear God, that you've got another place prepared for us. Right among the heavens. We thank you for the speech to go, oh God. We thank you that the angels that sing all day long. One day we are all going to meet Brother Raymond up there. And Father, we just give you glory this morning. We worship you, oh God. We lift you up. Yes, our eyes are filled with tears. But we going to praise you anyhow. Because you're worthy yes. of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And we just want to thank you, dear God, in the name of Jesus. 
know I'm putting your hands together this morning. How many of you feel safe in here? I know a whole lot of things are going on in your life. But I, I, I feel safe because I'm in the arms of God. And I, and I feel like this morning, Raymond Gordon is in the arms of the Lord. Can y'all just say just a little bit more of that? Because you know how I am. You know how I am. Because I feel safe this morning. We're going to have trials and tribulations, but God will look out for us. God will make a way out of no way. And you can feel safe this morning, no matter what's going on in your life. about our church clerk and then we're going to ask Reverend Fields, Reverend Dr. Fields, if he would just acknowledge the preachers on the day. Amen. today comforted by the words of our Lord in Revelations 21 4 which says and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away whereas in the providence of God he has ended the life of Brother Raymond Gordon Jr., Reverend Roy Spradley, interim pastor, officers, and members of the Mount Poole Baptist Church in Fort Virginia, feel that it is befitting to express our sympathy to the family during the passing of Brother Gordon. We commend you to him who knows best and will always do right. You have our sincere prayers. Whereas Brother Gordon was a God-fearing man, who loved his family, friends, and church. He especially loved his family and friends by fellowshipping with them and being an all-around good man. He was a faithful member of the Mount Poole Baptist Church in which he served in the Fellowship Gospel Choir and the Mass Choir. He also was a member of the Dinwiddie Community Choir, and he also was a custodian for his church's way. Be it resolved, that we bow in acceptance of the perfection of God's plan to gather each of us into his merciful arms when we have fulfilled our task on this earth. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace you and show our love and support to you during this challenging time. We know your loss is deep and your sorrow is great, but we want you to know that we share in your sorrow but more importantly, we recognize that this loss is heaven's gain. In the words of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 3, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, would I have told you? I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, 
I will come again and will receive you unto myself, that where I am, you may be also. Be at peace in the everlasting love of our Lord. Reverend Humley submitted, Reverend Gord Spread, the interim pastor, Deacon William G., chairman of the diaconate. And before I take my seat, I sung with Raymond 34 years. I'm going to tell him, tell him, you talking about somebody kind and quiet. That's the way he did. He did do anything he's asking you to do. But he was such a Christian gentleman. I'm going to tell you, he's going to be missed by us. And I know he's going to be missed by you, sir. You talking about sweet people. Even to enter in that home is peace and quiet. <laughs> to drive it from the property. But more importantly, being in the quiet with no trouble for years. No trouble, no problem, no anything. Just come and say for the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, like I said, the man who just he lost a good one. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. It's a good afternoon to the family and friends that gathered here today on the celebration of life. I'll bring you greetings from the Mount Zion Baptist Church and also from the Dignity Sheriff's Department. We bring you greetings from the United Church of Dignity County. You know, for years, you can be a neighbor, and you never know the last name. Hello. All I knew was Raymond. Amen. And so sure. But that's all right. You know, because there was a time when he and I and Brother Pigram, all three of us, had an ailment that required us to walk the road every day to gain our strength back. <laughs> Brother Raymond was one of them. His wife, Shirley, walked past my house. And we would uh, uh, walk a few steps together. And God was so good to all of us that he gave us strength that we didn't have to walk that road much longer. God is good, and he was a wonderful friend to our family. The plan, Hayes, Fields, everyone he's going. One thing about the road we live on, just for everybody on the road, from, from Barbara Ann's house on down to the end of the road, kin folks, <laughs> all kin folks, all family folks. And even if you're not family, we still greet you as cousin. Amen. Uh, but today, I'm delighted to stand before you and ask all preachers and ministers in the house, will you stand? All preachers and ministers in the house. God bless you. Uh, sis, children, and family, who are your support team? We're here, and we just a stone throw away. Uh, call us, we'll be there as quick as we can. We don't move like we used to, but we get there. Amen. So this is your support team, and we stand with you today and forevermore. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Field. We're now going to have an acknowledgement by the J. M. Wilkinson Funeral Establishment. Then we're going to have Robert Robertson Jr., family and friends, to give reflections and maybe two minutes if you can. I greet you, the one who order our steps, the one who sits high, the one who looks low, and the one who will continue to look low for each and every one of us. 
to the eulogies of the Oliver Roberts, Brian, and to all his clergy that is behind his sacred desk. Might the people of God say amen. amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know you've been putting no hands together, but let's just do it one more time loudly as we celebrate the life and legacy. Mr. Raymond Gordon Jr. While I was waiting to be called, I was looking at his obituary and I see he's affectionately called Uncle Junior. And family, remember he was on loan to you for 73 years and has now been afforded a home on high. The family have been thankful for your presence today, the lovely floor arrangements, the phone calls, the cards, the business, the use of your personal vehicle, and yes, most importantly, your prayers. The family have requested that these cards and letters be acknowledged at this time. Prayer in time of loss is more than reaching up to God and Him reaching down to us. It's Him sitting next to us, putting His arms around us, listening to every word and holding us tightly through our tears. Praying you will feel His loving arms surrounding you today. With care, sympathy, and love, Diane Winfield White. Our hearts are with you. We wish these words to tell you how sorry we are but we hope that somehow every thought we hold for you would touch your heart and help you feel and help you feel how much we care. With deepest sympathy, Mount Poole Fellowship, God the Choir, and Mass Choir. God's love is a perfect love, a caring love, a lasting love. At this difficult time, may you see God's love in the face of family and friends. May you feel his love in every caring word. And may you know his love in the hope that it is sure to come. Thanking of you with sympathy. Mount Pool Usher's ministry. May God, our refuge and our strength, help you through your sorrow and his mercy grant you peace to life each day. Then with the county sheriff office, Chef D.T. Duck Adams. Good Shepherd Baptist Church, Petersburg, Virginia. This lot of consolation is written to express our sincere and heartfelt sympathy in the loss of your loved one. The pastors and members of Good Shepherd Baptist Church join our hearts in sympathy with you today. Our hearts go sad and leap in love and praise unto the master who has prepared the way for us. Family, we know that these words alone cannot express the sorrow you feel, but always remember there is one who will comfort you in your loneliest hour. We are praying that God's comforting arms will encompass the family. We are also praying that God's grace will provide you with the strength needed in this time of bereavement. May these words from the Lord bring you comfort. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Humbly submitted by the order of Good Shepherd Baptist Church, Bishop Jeffrey L. Reed, Senior, Senior Pastor. Community Independent Methodist Church, Chesterfield, Virginia. We, the pastors and members of Community Independent Methodist Church, join in extending our sincere sympathy to you during this time of bereavement. May it help, may it help to know that you are in our thoughts and prayers. Your grief at this hour is also our grief and sadness, but what power our Lord has in times like these and how wonderful it is to lean on Him. Our prayers are that the Lord will comfort and keep you during this time. Know that God is your refuge and strength a very present help in time of trouble. Look to him to carry you through this time of sorrow. It is our prayers that the memories of all the good times that have been shared over the years will sustain, you through, will sustain you through today, tomorrow, and for years to come. Just continue to put your unwavering faith in the Lord. The Community Independent Methodist Church family is praying for you. May God bless you and give you strength and peace that passes all understanding. Done by order of Pastor Peyton Pearson, and the Community Independent Methodist Church family. Union Grove Baptist Church, South Chesterfield, Virginia. The pastors, officers, and members of Union Grove Church extend to you our love and heartfelt sympathy in the home going of your loved one. Brother Gordon grew up in Chesterfield County and attended Union Grove with his family during his youth. To all the family members, Union Grove is praying with you and for you. May our expression of love provide support during this time of bereavement. Most of all, it is our hope that we find comfort in God's word where it is written. Cast that burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Done by the order of Union Grove Baptist Church, the Reverend Dr. William E. Johnson III, pastor. And to the family, on behalf of the entire staff and management of the J.M. Wilkinson Freedom Establishment, 
we want you to know that not only are we praying for you, but we are praying with you. One of the apostles that we call Paul said it, some of the words like these, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And I would like to personally lead a family. A very familiar passage of scripture coming out of Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, which reads, Trust in the Lord of all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. God bless you all. First, give an honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Quiet Storm, Raymond Gordon Jr. Raymond, the Quiet Storm of his family. I'm Robert Robertson, the first cousin to Raymond, was the oldest grandson of the late Roosevelt and Bernie's Good League, and I am the youngest. Let's take a look at what Webster says about a storm, which is disturbed in a state of natural environment and the atmosphere. Raymond was a quiet natural environment to the warm atmosphere of his family of love, wisdom, and care. Raymond the Quiet Storm after started on May 20th, 1948, to the union of the late Raymond Gordon Sr. and Mildred Irene Lee Gordon of South Chesterfield. Raymond the Quiet Storm, a man, a family man who loved his wife Shirley Bland Gordon, and a true love father to his son Dominique, who he loved so well, along with other children, Michelle Allen, Russell Allen, Jermaine Bland, and Andre Bland. The Quiet Storm Raymond is the brother of the late Joyce Jefferson and Ronnie Gordon, and the great genuine brother to Clifton Leroy Gordon. When I was a child, I thought that they were twins. They worked together and always hung together all the time. In fact, both of them retired from Chesterfield County Public Schools together. And a true vessel is his sister, Mildred Paulette Brown, who he loved so well and always was always protected of her. Raymond is the nephew to Viola Gordon Evans. A host of nieces and nephews and other cousins and friends create the name. Mount Poole has worshipped the love of the voice of the quiet storm, but at an early age, he was a member of the Unibrow Baptist Church, where the quiet storm Raymond was baptized, where he is the great grandson of the late Candace Gould, the founder of the Unibrow Baptist Church, which is the oldest black church in Chesterfield County shortly established after the Civil War. The Quiet Storm has a new assignment that he took on February 27th, 2023. Him and his father had talked about it, but Raymond wanted to do it quietly. Raymond got a new address, and it's not on Matoka Road nor Brown Road. It's called Heaven's Corner, not Baltimore Corner. His phone number is not 804-229-7468 anymore. But he got a new number that I can't give you this time. Right. But I promise you, if you live the life that Raymond lived, you will get a chance to get his phone number. <laughs> the quiet storm has retired from the Chesterfield County Public School. But he got a new assignment in heaven, and he loved it. It's full of joy, laughter, and the angels up there better watch out. We got an angel up there named Shirley. He seems to have a love for Shirley. <laughs> Shirley, Shirley Allen, and then Shirley Graham Gordon. A job well done. You have completed your course and test here. And now you can rest and not be worried about anything. You get to see Jesus every day. Well, bless him, you get to see Jesus every day. The mega time has come for the quiet Psalm Raymond Gordon Jr. Until we meet again, we all love you. Church. Be quiet. The quiet song is right. I just heard that one, the quiet song, and I know why they call him the quiet song, too. Hey, Amen. I've always wondered what his nickname was. The quiet song, and that speaks for itself. Amen. 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 Now we're going to have a
as an inner boy reflection of this family. Amen. Now we're going to have uh, a musical selection by Reverend Charlotte Godfrey. Amen. Show some love. Show some love. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We've come to celebrate the home going of Brother Raymond Gordon. Brother Raymond is all right now, Sister Sherry, yeah. <clears throat> because he's got a new home, yeah. a brand new home. Hallelujah. I've got a new home over in glory, and it's mine.
Come on, show some love on this morning. Amen. A new home over in Amen, amen. Let us pray. Dear Father, let the words from my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my deliverer. Amen. 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 And James 4, 14 tells us that whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. If I had to put a title on this song today, on this sermon today, I would simply call it Safe in His Arms. Saints, today is a reminder of how brief life can be. <coughs> James calls it, it's like a vapor. It's like a mist. All are going to be here for a short while. You can be here today and gone today. We were blessed this morning to see another sunrise. But we are not promised to see the evening sunset. So what we have here is the moment. And in this moment, we need to treasure what we have. In this moment, we need to treasure our family. In this moment, we need to treasure our friends. In this moment, we need to treasure our relationship. Amen. Take nothing for granted. In this moment, not tomorrow or next week or next month, but in this moment right now, we need to love on one another. We need to embrace one another. We need to celebrate one another. Because tomorrow is not promised. Because life is like a vapor. You're here today and gone tomorrow. Safe in his arm. That's where Raymond is today. He's safe in the arms of the Lord. You know, it's a great pleasure for me to be here on today. To celebrate this home going of Mr. Raymond Gordon Jr. Thank you. We the Mount Poole family, and you have our deepest sympathy. We've been praying for you. And you will always continually be in our prayers and our thoughts. Raymond was a God-fearing man. He loved God. He loved his wife. He loved his family. He loved the Mount Poole family. He was a good husband. He was a good father. He was a good grandfather. He loved getting together with his family. In other words, he loved living. Raymond loved living. He loved everybody. He had such a gentle spirit. He never talked bad about anybody. He had been a blessing for so many people. He was faithful to his church. He was a faithful member of the Fellowship Gospel Choir and the Mass Choir and, uh, 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 and the Community Choir. And Raymond and Gordon, Raymond and his wife, Mrs. Gordon, they were so faithful to this church and faithful to the choir. He used to sing right here. Right behind me. I used to see him all the time. I used to hear him all the time. He, he loved singing. And he brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. But death, but death is a reality. And if we tarry here long enough, death is going to come knocking at our door. 
Job said, naked I came into my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. Job said, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. See, it is because of death that life seems so unfair. Unfair because you can no longer see your loved one face. Unfair because you cannot see the beautiful smile and the friendliness and the jokes that he told. No longer can you say, I love you. Unfair because what you did not get to do with him before, you can't do it now. Brothers and sisters, life is, can sometimes seem so unfair. It seems unfair because in the twinkling of an eye, your world can get turned upside down. Situations and circumstances can arrive in your life that can change your life for the rest of your life. Our loved ones leave us and have gone home to glory to be with the Lord. And, and the sad part is you don't even get to say goodbye. You don't even get to say I love you. That's why we should always love on one another. Right. Be good to one another. Yeah. Treat one another like you would want to be treated. Because yeah. life is too short. It's like a vapor. Yeah. Here today and going today. Yeah. But family, in this grieving time, you need to understand and know that God is aware of your hurt. God is aware of your pain. And if you call on him, he will come and see about you. And I come this day to tell you that God is able. We have an awesome God. And he can do anything but fail. When you're feeling weak and you're down, if you just go to God, he will pick you up and turn you around and place your feet on solid ground. He'll bring you peace in the midst of your storm. He was kind and gentle. You know, Raymond has already preached to the Ulysses about the life he lived. He loved Mrs. Gordon. He loved the Lord. He loved his family. He loved his friends. He loved everybody. I never saw him upset about anything. But I also haven't heard him say, we need to just pray about it. Everything is going to be all right. And then he'll go on about his business. And you know, I had the pleasure of going to the house and, and Jones, we were together and, you know, she thought the flowers, so she was looking at Mrs. Gordon's flowers and the little shrubs and stuff. But when I looked over there, I saw these chickens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw these chickens. And the first thing I thought about was, you know what? I like to have you two or three of them old brown country eggs and some sausage right there. <laughs> yeah, amen? So I was looking at the flowers and I was looking at the chickens. Amen. Amen. But, but, but when I went into the house, it was so calm and it was so peaceful. Now I know why they called him Quiet Song. But he was so quiet. Mason Gordon, I believe that Raymond is safe in the arms of the Lord. Amen. So today, Mrs. Gordon and the family and friends, I just came to comfort you. I just came to pray for you. I just came to encourage you. I just come to tell you that in times like these, yeah. when it seems like you don't understand why, you just don't have no answers, I come to tell you when it gets rough, when you cannot lean on nobody else, you can lean on Jesus. It's in times like these when, when you don't understand, these are the times that you go into your secret closet and you fall down on your knees and you have a little talk with Jesus and you tell God all about it and go ahead on and cry. We may endure for a night, 
But joy is going to come in the morning. When you just lost your loved one, go into your secret closet. When you can't figure it out, go into your secret closet. Yes. But the good news is, it's good to know that this house, this earthly home, yeah. it's not our house. You see, I can't do all the things that I used to do. My steps are getting shorter. My hair is turning gray. That lets me know that time is not long. But my spirit inside of me is getting renewed more day by day. Because every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Raymond's got a new home now. Over in Zion, a home not made by human hands, but made by God. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'm coming back again and receive you unto myself. And that's good news to know on today. Ramah is over in Zion now. No more Mondays, no more Tuesdays, no more Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. But every day is going to be like Sunday and Sabbath will have no end. No more pain and no more medicine. No more suffering and no more heartache. All I want to do is just go to heaven on today. I want the God and family to know that I don't care how dark it may get in your life. If you just hold on to God's unchanging hand. And I want to tell you on today that you can depend on God. If you just keep trusting in the Lord, every day, everything is going to be all right. Raymond will miss you. Things won't be the same without you. But I know that you are in the arms of the Lord. So sleep on, Raymond. We'll meet you over in Zion. And the good news is, Mrs. Gordon, it's not over. Because one day, it won't be a quiet day. Because the Bible said the dead, the, the trumpet is going to sound. Yeah. And the dead in Christ is going to rise again. And those that are remaining will be caught up to meet him in the air. We'll be caught up to meet him in the air. So yeah. Mrs. Shirley Gordon and the Gordon family, don't you worry. He made it over. <laughs> Safe in the arms of the Lord. Oh, but when we get to the other side, what a day of rejoicing that will be. I want to see the man who suffered and died for me. Oh, death, where is thou sting? Oh, grave, where is thou victory? One day, this corruptible is going to put on incorruptible. And this mortal is going to put on immortality. And I can hear God saying, Raven, come on up. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'll make you ruler over a minute. Come on up to your new home. They tell me the streets are paved with gold. The walls are made of jasmine. Raymond's going to put on his long white robe. And he's going to wear his sorry crown. And he's going to sing and shout. And give God the praise that nobody will be able to put him out. He's going to be there. He's there on his head. And he's going to tell you the story. He's going to tell you how he made it over. He's going to tell you I had to cry sometimes. Sometimes my way got hard, but I kept on pushing. Sometimes my night seemed long, but I kept on praising him. What about you this morning? If you know that if the sun might be not shining right now, well, you just keep on holding. Even though it's not, the sun is going to shine after a while. My world can be falling down, but I don't have to worry because God got the whole world in his hand. And that's good news on the day. In the arms of the Lord. In the arms of the Lord. That's where he is. He got his new home. And now he's safe. And that's good news to know on today. He made it over. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. And may God bless you real good. We now turn the service back over into the hands of G. M. Wilson, funeral establishment.